Okay, hi guys. So, um, without any further ado, let's get straight to this. Now, as you can see, I've got the pages set up here. So we'll have a look at that first. Short document, 12 pages in all. And of course, it's got the system page numbering going on below there. Now you can see page two and three is actually one and two in the old Roman numerals. Page one doesn't actually start until page six, the physical page, and so on, down to six and six, and page seven is page 12. Now that'll make sense in a minute, because if you've got a book or a publication, you don't want page one being the front cover. That's a bit silly. So let's see how we do this. Let's have a look at page I of Roman numerals. You can see that's down there. Oops. No, don't do that, silly boy. And there's page two. Let's have a look down here where the page numbers start. Let's move that page. There's page one and there's page two. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's have a look. There's back to normal size. That's just Laura Mipsum text in there. That's just made up text, filler text. Now we're on pages. Let's go and have a look at masters. Now there's only one master and you can see it, master A. Now let's have a look at that. And you can see that down here, oh, down there is where I've got page numbering set up. If I can expand this without altering everything. Now, put it on move, select move, and we can touch that. And you can see that it's a text box. Well, a flowing text box, because I don't know what I'm going to put in there. But what I've put in there is, is a one of those. Now, that shows up as a page number. That's a page number marker. Now you can see there, what I've done, let me go back and do that again. Tap right down there, double click inside that. Probably just highlight it. Double click inside that and we've already got one. So then we go up to insert in the editing menu, insert, fields, and page numbers so it's inserted page numbers into that field now those page numbers are that one there it puts a little hash sign in there now you copy that or if you do you do that the same over there so that you've got page numbers on the two pages of your master pages now continuing right along we've got our um, hash signs in the master page on the pages where we want page numbers to appear. Now, if you've got multiple master pages and you want page numbers on all of them, then you just copy that to the other pages. You can format it how you like, so you can have different master pages, have different number formatting on, things like that. But really, you do your formatting in sections. Now, you can see we've got masters there and pages, but there's our pages. You can still see sections down the bottom here. Okay. Now that's our next move. But with the sections, this is where we're going to modify what appears like that. You can see there two and three, one and two. Let's just exit out of that so we haven't got that. And double click there so we've got the pages. Let's have a look at sections. Sections are not connected to the master pages. So you can have sections on your pages and that's where we want to be. So we've got section one, which is the front cover. Now the front cover is pages one of one. That's that section when you create that section. You've got a plus sign up the top and a rubbish bin. So you can add and remove sections. Let's have a look in the sections, in section one, and you can see section one, start on page one, continue page numbering, no, is not turn on, turned on. Section name, you can give it a name if you like. 
And the numbering style is there. Now instead of one, two, three, four, or I, 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 you can have with a little um, point on top of them, or capital letters, or small um, letters, or zero, one, zero, two. So there's a number of styles there. But I'm not even giving it a name. I'm not worried about styles other than one, two, three, and four in Roman numerals. Include on export. Yes, you want that. So that's section one, which refers to the front page. Section two refers to page two and five. So I've created a section and I've said it refers to page two, continuing page numbering. No, we don't want it continuing on from the previous page. S restart page numbering at number one. So I want this page to have a one at the bottom and the second page to have a two at the bottom and so on until I change it. And the numbering style is one, two, three, four. Include on export. Yes, because you want your pages to appear. Section three start on page six continuing page numbering still no restart page numbering at one because i want this page this is the introduction page let's have a look at this there we go section three i was going down in the in the um see so section one and section two we've got page one and page two there section three now we'll go on to the editing section Start on page six, continue page numbering no, restart page numbering as one. And you can see the main text is one, then two, and so on. And this time it's the standard numbering style. And again, I haven't mentioned, I haven't given it a name, but I could. Hmm. Let's see. Start main text. Now, that's okay. Start main text, include on export, yes, of course. Now, section details, there it is. And there's the name, start main text. Well, you can put C, you can see section one is no name, section two, no name, section three, start main text. Let's alter that a little bit. Fairly obvious. Just leave it main, start main text. Then section details, main. Section two, I don't know what section two was, preface, I think. And section one, page one. But I'm not going to name those, but you can see how you do it. Section one is that. Section two is the introduction, and it's still got lower case letters, Roman numerals, lower case Roman numerals. There's the main body of our text. It starts on page six to 12. It's actually numbered one through seven, which is how you want it. So when you build a table of contents, what you've got is the right numbers for the right pages. You're not going to go to the physical pages. You're going to the printed pages. And main text begins on page one, which is where the story starts. That's all there really is to it. When you export your document, sections will go to there, pages, Da da da, back cover. Now, the one thing yeah. I haven't shown you, and this can be confusing, is how to stop numbering appearing on pages on the front page, front cover, and the back cover here. Because you can see page 12 down here is in the sections 1 to 12, and it should have numbering on it 1, 2, 3, 4, but the back cover, there's no numbering appearing. So let's go and find out how we do that. There's the back cover is selected. Let's go to Manage Pages. Select the back cover page. Now go up here to the right hand side and you'll see that there. Just tap that. And it says it's Master A. But what I want here is to click None. So there's no master page selected for that page then we go back and page 12 now remember this if you move these pages around your back cover now has no part no master page related to it 
Now we've got the same for the front cover and you can see the sections. I've got a section set up for that only just for that very first one page. However, we don't want that at all. So we've got the front page selected. We go to manage pages, select the front cover this time, go over to the editor, just tap the master page, select none, select OK, go back to the document. And even though page one has a section related to it, there's no master page associated with it. You could, if you like, create a master page, master page B, for example, which is a blank page with no, that doesn't have page numbers embedded in it or anything, but this works just as well. And there we go. Now, if we bring that back out, go up to there, there's page one, two, and so on, the main text, and everything appears as normal. That's really how you get rid of page, the front page, not page one, but the front cover and the back cover with no page numbering, because you don't want page numbering on those, do you? So you could, if you have master pages, you can actually have no master page associated with various pages in the book, and the numbering won't continue on those pages. Okay, that's really it. Okay, that's all there is to it. Simple as that. Hope you enjoy that and find it useful. Page numbering can get quite complex, but start simple and work your way up. Don't try doing a huge book with multiple pages with different numbering right from the word go. Start simple.